Over 200 recorded diseases have jumped from animals to humans, with some causing the deadliest pandemics in history. Zoonotic diseases are a persistent and growing threat. But what makes them so dangerous and why are humans so susceptible to diseases from animals? To understand the why, we first need to understand the how. You see, zoonotic diseases are infections that transfer between animals and humans and are among the most significant health threats we face today. These diseases are caused by various pathogens, including viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites, and they can originate from a wide range of animals, such as ticks, pigs, and bats. What makes zoonotic diseases particularly concerning is that many of them are new to humans, which means we often lack immunity or effective treatments. Now, animals are known to host countless pathogens. However, only a small number of them have successfully crossed over to humans. The ones that do can have devastating effects. To date, a little over 200 zoonotic diseases have been identified, with more likely to be uncovered. In today's world, the idea that diseases can jump from animals to humans isn't earth-shattering knowledge. In fact, we can thank Rudolf Virchow, a German pathologist, for our deeper understanding of them. You see, the study of zoonotic diseases began in the 19th century, when Virchow discovered that a roundworm, Trichinella spiralis, could cause severe illness in humans who consumed undercooked pork. This early discovery highlighted the dangers of diseases that could jump from animals to humans. Fast forward and we see that zoonotic diseases are responsible for up to 75% of new infectious diseases today. Take for instance the bubonic plague, one of history's deadliest pandemics. Caused by the bacteria Yersinia pestis and transmitted through flea bites, this disease decimated roughly 40% of Europe's population in the 14th century. And the bubonic plague is just one example of how catastrophic these diseases can be. Now, that was centuries ago, but even in modern times, we're seeing these consequences play out. In the last hundred years, there have been even more examples of zoonotic pandemics. The Spanish flu of 1918, believed to have originated in birds, killed as many as 50 million people. Later outbreaks of avian influenza in 1957 and 1968 also resulted in millions of deaths. Then there's human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, another zoonotic disease believed to have originated in monkeys but later mutated into a human-only strain. People suspect this disease jumped species when hunters were exposed to the infected blood of a subspecies of chimpanzee in West Equatorial Africa. Ebola, a virus with severe hemorrhagic symptoms, has also caused multiple deadly outbreaks in Africa, with fruit bats suspected as the natural origins. Other high-profile examples include the coronavirus of 2020, rabies, malaria, and many other viruses. But how do these diseases actually make the jump from animals to humans? Transmission can occur in many ways, through direct contact, contaminated food or water, and more. In some cases, like bird flu, the exact pathways of transmission remain a mystery. Factors like land clearing, increased human-animal interactions, and crowded live animal markets significantly raise the risk of zoonotic spillovers. The COVID-19 pandemic is a recent and powerful reminder of this threat. Though the exact origin of SARS-CoV-2 is still debated, it's clear that its jump from animals to humans set off a global crisis. As our world becomes increasingly interconnected, the frequency of zoonotic diseases may rise, but we're not helpless. Simple actions like washing hands regularly, thoroughly cooking food, and being vigilant about ticks can help reduce the risk. So why are humans so susceptible to diseases from animals? It's a combination of factors, our proximity to animals, the pathogens they carry, and the changing dynamics of our environment. By understanding these threats, we can better protect ourselves from the next potential pandemic. If you found this video insightful, consider subscribing to our channel for more knowledge like this.